2021. And so this video was inspired by Steph over at uh, the Secret Slob channel. I saw her video, I recently found her channel, and I saw her video uh, last week maybe, and I just thought it is such a neat concept. And let me tell you this, some of the things on the list are goals, some of the things on the list are not goals, there's just like, hey, it would be cool if I did this. Um, some of the things are for different reasons. And I have my entire list right here. Number one, I want to get Christmas cards made this year. My son is going to be five this year. And I just think it is a terrible, terrible thing that we have never gotten Christmas cards made. Back when we first got married, my husband was always like, hey, we should do Christmas cards. And I thought it was so weird to have Christmas cards like with just a husband and a wife and like no dog, no child, just a husband and a wife. And I guess you could, but I just felt like, I don't know, we were supposed to have a child, but now we've had one for several years and still no Christmas cards. So that's number one on my list because we're coming right out of the Christmas season. Number two, I want to learn about investing. I know that I am a good learner. Um, I'm a good student. However, investing for some reason just intimidates the heck out of me. And I'm like, you know what? If it intimidates me, I'm just going to have to learn intimidated and like push past and through that and find some good resources so that I can learn and stop shying away from it. Number three on my list is I want to learn photography. So the camera that I have right now is an entry level camera, it's DSLR, but it's not a full frame. And so I'll, if you're interested in my camera, I'll link it down below in the description box. But it's good enough that I could take some, you know, snazzy photos if I wanted to, uh, and if I actually knew what I was doing. <laughs> so I would love to learn photography this year. There are lots of classes out there. Uh, there is Skillshare and there's Udemy, but what I would love so much is to learn from a skilled photographer, like have an actual tutor or teacher teaching me, looking at my work, you know, critiquing it, that sort of thing. And I actually have a second lens. So I have the lens that gives you kind of like the bokeh, blurred out background effect. Um, and I got that over the summer because I wanted some branding photos for my new website, which it is live now, everydaydeanda.com, shameless plug. I'm very proud that I was able to get that done. The good Lord helped me because your girl was struggling uh, for several years before I bought a course. So side note, if there's something that you really wanna do, you're having a hard time with it, don't second guess investing in yourself. Like find a good resource and pay to get the knowledge that you need. It can be worth it. So over the summer, I wanted to get some branding photos done for my website and I reached out to this local photographer in my area. She is amazing. And the way that her website works is like, she doesn't have the prices listed on her website. So you have to like reach out to her and tell her what your budget is, but her prices are not just like listed on the website. And so I reached out and I was like, well, I have $350 and, um, basically it's at least 850 for a branding session and i was like you know what this website is not making me any money right now i cannot justify paying 850 dollars for that service and not saying that the service like her work isn't worth it um she's really an excellent photographer but i just could not justify it and so i was like you know what uh i can't but and i think she also had a package of like three hundred dollars for five headshots and I was like oh, I can't do that and so not yet I it is a dream though to work with her I didn't put it on my list for 2020 but I would love to work with her but and like pay her obviously but I was like I can't afford that but what I could do is buy this lens like an upgraded lens from what I have now and work with that and with that lens I've been able to take some pretty cool photos like I'm doing the best that I can but again I don't know exactly how to do photography I'm kind of like shooting in the dark no pun intended um was that a pun I don't know but anyway I'd love to learn photography the next thing I want to learn there's a I really enjoy learning like to me learning is a hobby and I can be a little like doo -doo 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 -doo, all over the place you know with all the things that I want to learn but I just enjoy learning. Maybe that's why I'm a teacher. So I want to learn how to use our rainbow vacuum. When my mom came to visit me one time, she was like, hey, 
this is a nice vacuum can I have it she saw like a brand new vacuum that we had in our laundry room because we weren't using a brand new one we were using like an older vacuum and she was like I have a rainbow vacuum like it's a really nice vacuum I'll trade you and so I was like bet let's do it well okay I didn't say bet to my mom that's just what came into my head right now but because like I don't talk to her like that but anyway so I was like sure you know let's trade she took our brand new vacuum that we had not unboxed yet and we took her rainbow vacuum and we had like a rainbow vacuum consultant come to our home one time and like walk us through and show us all the features and do the demo and everything so I knew that rainbow was like a really good vacuum that I was getting a better end of the stick than she was and not that like I was taking it from her in a manipulative way but like it was a fair trade because she wanted what we had and I knew that what she had was good. It's all love. Um, and so we've had that vacuum for several years now, but it's like you have to fill it with water and my husband knows how to use it. I don't know how to use the vacuum. So I just sweep the rugs, which got to do better in 2021. Something else that I want to learn this year is correct comma usage. And so I think that I have a, pr not I think, I know that I do have a pretty good handle on like grammar, usage, mechanics. And anytime I'm writing something and it gets to a point where like I should maybe use a comma, I'm like, am I using this in the right way? I think I am. And I'll just keep going. But I want to know that I know for sure, like brush up and be 100% sure that I'm using my commas in the right way. It's very odd, I know, but I'm going to do it. I would love to be able to get into, um, what do you call that? Uh, what is that called? What is it called? What is it called? Proofreading. I actually really enjoy proofreading for other people. And so I think there could be something there could be a stream of income. Once I hone in on my skills and make sure that I have it all down packed. This year, it is a huge goal for me. This one is not like a man, pie in the sky, maybe one day. No, we're getting her done this year. This year, it is my goal to declutter my entire house. The whole thing like I want systems and organization in place throughout okay and I started working on it over the summer one very very small project at a time I'm talking about like I organized this desk drawer over the summer and when I pull it open and look at it it makes me so daggone happy like that it is still organized that I have a great system in place and it has not gotten messed up for like six months because we're in January now so that's what I want to do throughout my whole house. One small project at a time. And I've started small. Like I did that. I did um, underneath the sink. I'll link that video up here. Decluttering under the bathroom sink. That's on my other channel. Um, I did my pajama drawer. And then a few weeks later, I did two more drawers in my chest of drawers. And I'm very slowly working through it so that I don't become overwhelmed because it is in my nature to become very easily overwhelmed. And so to combat that, one small project at a time. So the whole house is going to be decluttered by the end of 2021. I'm giving myself an entire year to do it. Promise you I'll check back in. I also, a part of decluttering my home is I want to teach my son how to put away his clothes. I saw a YouTube video of this mom of like 13 kids. Her son is three years old and she has this system in his room. It's like the Ikea cubes with the bins that you pull out. And this little boy put away his laundry in five minutes. And I was like, if he can do it, my son can do it too. So I want to teach him how to do that. We have to buy the shelving system. I also want to teach my son a poem. He has a great memory. He's always quoting lines from movies that he watches and like his little cartoon shows. I'm like, you know what, if you can memorize all that, let's put it to good use. So I want to teach him a poem from like the Harlem Renaissance by a black male poet. So I'm thinking either something from Langston Hughes or Paul Lawrence Dunbar. That is a task for me for 2021. It's time that I finally <laughs> potty train him for overnight. So that is also on the list for this year. I got to schedule it into one of the months. This year, I want to renew my teaching certificate. And the reason why I want to do that is so that I can continue having a job <laughs> and be a legally certified teacher. So this year is my year for renewal in June. So I have to look into that um, this first quarter to make sure I have all of my ducks in a row. This year, I also want to start serving in my church again. And so by serving, I mean volunteering. I really want to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can to do my part to help build the kingdom of God. I know that Jesus is coming back and he's coming back soon. Like people have been saying that for years, but it's sooner now 
than it was years ago. And so um, one way I can do that is by serving in my local church. Lose weight. I want to lose weight this year. I'm not going to say much more about it. We're just going to move on. Okay. This year, I also want to make uh, planner stickers with my Cricut. I have started planning weekly and it's like a game changer, even though we're only like not even a whole seven days. No, today is the seventh, I think. But I've never planned like an entire week at a time. And I'm like, girl, why have you not been doing that? So I'm going to make some of my own planner stickers with my Cricut. I think it'll be fun and it'll, I'll make them like to go with the type of planning that I'm doing specifically. I'm doing time block planning in my planner and I really wanted a like really nice planner that fit exactly what I want. And the only ones that were close were like $50, $60. And that's only for like half of a year. What I'm not about to do is pay over $100 for a planner that may or may not be used. And when I had done so much research, looking, 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 and the planners are so expensive for like not even 365 days, I went right on down to Ross and I bought not one, not two, but three planners. I was like, if it's not, if I can't get exactly what I want in a planner, then I'm just gonna get any planner. And that's what I did. And I'm actually making it work for me and I like it a lot. Let me show you. I have this planner, really cute. It says plan and relax. I love that message. <laughs> it was $3.99. I have this one, Busy Bee Planner. It has this little thing right here, $5.99. The layout on the inside of these is the same. It's just that the green one is a little bigger than the pink one. And I have another planner. Let me grab that. I also have this planner, which I, I'm like, I don't think I really need three planners, but I couldn't, I couldn't just leave it in the store because it was only $4.99 and I was willing to pay up to $50 for a planner if it would last for the whole year. So it has like a gold foil pages and I just like it. What I'm gonna do with it, I'm not sure yet. Um, let me know if you would be interested in seeing a separate planner video, like what my planners are for, how I'm using them, how I'm block scheduling in a regular $5 planner. Um, this one was $4.99. But yes, I am block scheduling in this regular regular planner and it's actually working. So let me know if you're interested in that video and there is a blog post coming out soon. I've been working on it um, every day the past three nights. And so that will be out soon. My blog is everydaydeanda.com, proud plug. Introduce more people to Jesus. That is on my list for 2021. I don't want to be like nervous or fearful or anything like that because the love of Jesus is literally life changing and everyone should know that. What each person does with that information, like that's between them and God, but everyone should know. And so I wanna do my part in the great commission of going out into the world and spreading the gospel, spreading the good news of Jesus. and. Um, something like that I tell my students in school is like going out into the world doesn't mean you have to go to another country. It means that you go out into your sphere of influence, out into your circle, to the people that you come in contact with day to day and just show and share the love of Jesus. So that is on my list um, for 2021. Introduce more people to Jesus. What else? I want to get a rug for my living room. We have been in this house for almost five years and the whole time well not the whole time we've had rugs in the living room but they've been really messed up um but i want to get a nice rug for the living room for, for maybe about the last year we have not had a rug in there and it's just not as cozy as it would be and it's like we'll find some and it's like oh no it's not quite right and it's just like analysis paralysis design paralysis that whole thing so this year i just want us to find something and get it my fear though is um, that it will get messed up. I really would want something light colored, but we are not a no shoe home, which I grew up in a no shoe home. I would prefer and love a no shoe home. Uh, before I was married, I had a no shoe home. Like when I was just living by myself, but that's not what it is right now. And so I don't know, we just got to find a rug, just make a decision and throw it down in the living room. Another thing I want to do in 2021 is I want to create more than I consume. I am just over the moon about having my blog now. It's finally been launched and I really enjoy writing for it each day. And I have two YouTube channels now and I've been posting on Instagram more frequently. And so 
I enjoy like looking at other people's content, but I am so pressed for time. Like I still have a family. I have a full-time job that I'm committed to um, teaching students every day and like relaxing. And so self-care, like <laughs> these are things. Um, there's only so many hours in a day. Rest is a must. And so create more, consume less is something I want to do this year. I also want to read five or more books this year and I was like toying around with the idea of getting an Audible account but because I am a visual learner primarily I feel like I really digest and synthesize and understand books better like when my two eyeballs are moving from left to right looking at black and white print no looking at black print on a white page or manila you know whatever color the pages are but yes, I just prefer like to have a book in my hand. So five or more books this year, 2021. I want to also do my nails once a month during quarantine. I bought a um, gel nail kit that I really like a lot. I don't, have not used the gel on my own nails. I've been using it on my press on nails. Um, if you are interested in seeing which kit I got, I will also link that below for you. I do recommend it. It works well. Um, but I don't use it as often as I should. And so at least once a month, I, I can, I should find the time to do my nails because I enjoy having my nails done. It just makes me feel more feminine and um, put together. Not only do I enjoy having them done, but I enjoy doing them myself. Like it's a form of self care because it's something that I enjoy doing, like doing it myself. Something else I wanna do this year is wear my wedding earrings on my wedding day like the actual day that i got married every single month so i started doing that last year and then i fell off we know we know how you know 2020 um <laughs> but i want to be intentional about doing it so i'm going to set an alarm in my clock this not uh, set an alarm uh, or a reminder in my phone this year and i paid like I don't know, $80 or some ridiculous amount for those wedding earrings and to what? Wear them only one day? Nonsense. <laughs> We're not doing that. So there doesn't have to be a special occasion. It doesn't have to be anything extraordinary, glitzy or glamorous going on. The occasion can just be that I want to use the things that I have. I want to wear my wedding earrings and if I am just going to the grocery store, just going to Publix with my long, dangly, very sparkly, pretty earrings um, and sweatpants and a t-shirt, then so what? <laughs> um, what else? I want to grow my blog readership this year. I know a part of that means I'm gonna have to learn about Pinterest and hone in on my SEO skills on my blog. Um, I do have Yoast SEO and so like when I'm writing my blog post and I see the little green light light up, it makes me so happy because <laughs> I guess my SEO is as optimized as it can be. I also want to grow, my final thing is I wanna grow my new YouTube channel, Everyday Deanda at Home to at least 1,000 subscribers, which is a tall order because it took me like almost three years to grow this channel to 1,000 subscribers. And so if you are subscribed to this channel, I do appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in living more simply with systems, habits, and routines and organization, that's what my other channel is all about. And so it's a very, very niche. And so I'm hoping that like, the right people will find it who enjoy that type of content because obviously if you don't then why would you subscribe but i know there are a lot of people out there who would enjoy that type of content and find it really helpful my thing with that channel is i don't want it to be all over the place and so i make sure that i don't think so much about myself but like how can i add value to the viewers and um those are like really value-packed videos so i want to grow that to at least a thousand subscribers in the first year and those are my 21 things that i want to do in 2021 so if you think that this is a neat idea then i think you should do it yourself either do a video and even though you might not upload it till the end of january or february girl we have a whole entire year so what there's no rule that this has to come out at the beginning of january but um do a video yourself or that especially if you've never started a youtube channel like that would be a good idea of something to start with in my opinion. I think it, it would be a good idea, like a good launching video. 
And then if you're not like into making videos, make a list. If you're like me, maybe you have a thousand blank notebooks or half filled notebooks that are really pretty, super cute all around the house. Pick up one of them and make a list. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what are some of the things that you would like to do this year. If you wanna leave your list of 21 things in the comments, then more power to you. I'm not stopping you from doing that. But if you just wanna share one or two things, then I'm totally looking forward to seeing um, what some of the things that you guys want to do as well. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that now. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you down below in the comments and in the next video. Bye guys.